what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be talking about Power BI as it relates to SharePoint now when we connect through the Power BI desktop into SharePoint we have several different options available the two we're going to be focused on today is a SharePoint list an online SharePoint list and a SharePoint folder a SharePoint list can be thought of kind of like an Excel file it has columns and it has rows. We also have a SharePoint folder. This can be a directory inside of SharePoint. It can have multiple different folders with inside of that that we can connect to. And we're gonna talk about ways to kind of combine the data with inside of SharePoint. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start here inside of the Power BI desktop just to give you an idea of how connecting to SharePoint works. We have several different options available to find the SharePoint location. You can either select the little icon here at the top. This is going to bring up a full list of connectors. You can also select the Get Data dropdown and choose the More option down here at the bottom. Whichever way you want to do it is fine. So if I select More, this is going to bring up a list of all of the connectors available inside of Power BI and we can simply just look for SharePoint. So you'll see that we have several different options here and so the two that we're going to be focused in on today is the SharePoint folder and the SharePoint online list. Once again the online list can be thought of kind of like an Excel file where it has columns and rows of data. So when we think about connecting into SharePoint, SharePoint is an online source and so it doesn't matter what option you choose if you select SharePoint folder. The first thing it's going to ask you for is a URL. And so this is where you're going to paste in the root folder of the URL. You can hover over the information and notice that it says enter the root URL for SharePoint not including subfolders. So when you connect into SharePoint, you're going to connect to the main SharePoint site where everything is hosted and it will bring in all of the values associated to it. The same thing is true if we select the get data option here and go back to SharePoint. If we choose to a specific SharePoint list, you're going to notice that it gives us the same option. We select the online list and connect and it's going to ask us to paste in the site URL once again that site URL being the root URL not the subfolder so the main location to where all your data is hosted inside of SharePoint and so once you choose the correct SharePoint location you're then going to be brought to the next screen so we're going to put our SharePoint site URL here with inside and once again this is going to be the root folder or the main folder to your SharePoint site location. Once you connect inside the root folder you're going to see a list of everything that is inside of your SharePoint site and so you can see here by the extension that this is going to be a lot of different files that can be hosted inside of SharePoint and so once we connect to the root folder it's just going to give us a list of every option available every document available inside of that SharePoint site now if you look down at the bottom you're gonna see an option for combined and it's kind of highlighted here but we have to be careful because if we hit combine it's going to combine all of the data and all of the information available with inside of that SharePoint root folder. So everything you have in SharePoint is going to be combined together and that's not necessarily what we want in this case. And so for us we're going to be selecting transform data. So as it loads all of the data from your SharePoint site you're going to see on the right hand side a folder path this is where you can choose specific content with inside of your SharePoint site and you can filter down to a specific folder path if you have multiple folders inside of your SharePoint site you can look at just the specific value of the folder that you want to kind of focus in on you can also additionally look over here at the extension 
and you can filter on the extension as well. So if you have some Excel files, some CSV files, you can filter down based on those specific values if you want to as well. So this gives you a little bit more flexibility. And so if I select just the Excel files here, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. It filters down to the values that I want to look at. Now you'll see in the content section over here on the left hand side that you'll see this combine option. This is essentially going to combine all the data together. Now in order to combine them properly, you want to make sure that your files have the same structure. So same column naming, same column types, and it's going to combine all of the files that you want to look at together into one table. So if I hit the combine section here, so as you select the file that you want to look at, notice that there's several tables inside of this Excel file. I'm just going to select the customer file here and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So once you combine them, you're going to see on the left hand side that there's going to be a sample file and this is how you're going to combine the data together. And so anytime that you combine data, it's gonna create these helper queries to give you a available option to combine the data to manipulate it in some way. We're not gonna go into too much detail about this. Just know that when you combine the data together, it is going to give you the option to look at the sample file. So if I click here, this is how the sample file looks and then you can do any data manipulations that you want to before all of the files are combined together. So let's take a look at our test prep question. So it says you have a Microsoft SharePoint online site that contains several document libraries. One of the document libraries contains manufacturing reports saved as Excel files. All the manufacturing reports have the same data structure. You need to use Power BI Desktop to load only the manufacturing reports to a table for analysis. What should you do? So let's take a look at some of the key pieces of information here with inside of the question. So the first piece is that it contains several document libraries. And so that means that inside of our SharePoint site, there are multiple folders and multiple folder paths hosting files with inside of them. The next piece is that the manufacturing reports are saved as Microsoft Excel files. So these are Excel files with inside of a folder for the manufacturing reports. And finally, it says that they have the same data structure. So that's important as well as we go to combine the data. This is letting us know if they have the same data structure, then we're going to combine them together, which is what the question ask we want to combine it to a table for analysis and so because they have several different document libraries each one is going to have a different folder path and so as we think about how we're going to get this data from SharePoint we have to look at our answer choices to determine what is the best solution and so if we look down here at option B and option D, notice that it says that we wanna get data from a SharePoint list. Remember a list is similar to an Excel file, but it is not an Excel file. It's a list specifically inside of SharePoint that we can connect to. And so because it says that we have Microsoft Excel files, option B and option D are eliminated because we're not pulling from SharePoint lists. We're pulling from Excel files with inside of a SharePoint location. And so as we eliminate option B and D, we start to look at the last two, A and C. What you'll notice is that they both start off the same way. Get data from a SharePoint folder and enter the site URL. So these options start off the same but what we have to be concerned with is the last part of them so option C says select combine and load while option A says select transform and then filter by the folder path to the reports library and so as we think about this remember that we're putting in the root folder for that SharePoint site location and so 
if we put in the URL, it's going to bring back all of the items within side of that SharePoint site. And so there could be information that is not related to manufacturing reports. As it states up here, there are several document libraries and we are only concerned with the manufacturing reports. So we cannot just combine and load all the data because there are different libraries with inside of the SharePoint site. So there's going to be potentially different information not related to the manufacturing reports. And so that is going to eliminate option C for us. So option A says get the data from the SharePoint folder and enter the site URL. Perfect. Then we're going to transform the data. So we're going to click that transform data button and then we can filter by the folder path to point specifically to the manufacturing reports library at which point we then combine the data together specifically for those manufacturing reports and so the correct answer for this question would be A. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.